They are brothers, 18 months apart. 18 months between the main event and the undercard. 18 months between the champ and his sparring partner. 18 months between the greatest and his little brother. Rachman Ali has lived in his brother's shadow for 70 years, but there's a lot of brotherly love, and the last few years have been tough as Rachman watched Muhammad's declining health. Parkinson's disease is very bad, it's bad, it's a main disease. It destroys your body. Mm -hmm. He's in real bad shape, but his mind is it's good. His mind is clear. And I said, Chairman, he looked at me. And you can actually see the family resemblance as Rockman replicates his brother's smile. And now, Ali's brother has joined with writer Ron Brashear to tell his story. Man, this brother was like a bodyguard to Muhammad Ali. He was right by his side through all those times, and I just think it's a remarkable story. From the adoring crowds in New York to the jungles of Zaire, Rockman was a brother and more. He said Rockman was his best sparring partner. I mean, he would come at him and he, Ali would say, fool, back off me. And Rockman would say, no, I'm not gonna back off you. The guy you're fighting, I'm gonna get you ready to win this fight. The guy you're fighting is not gonna back up off of you. Sometimes you should get good and peeved at him, but the brother is trying to knock him out. Rockman says that sparring against his brother was hard work. If you weren't careful, the champ would knock your brains out. But Rockman had his moments. Did you catch him a couple of times? Uh, many times. Uh -huh. But he was so great, it didn't hurt him. The brothers always seemed to be together, oddly enough, even in defeat. These two fighters lost their first professional fight on the same card. They both came to Madison Square Garden undefeated. That is history within itself. It is Muhammad Ali! It was March 8, 1971. Joe Frazier would defeat Muhammad Ali in 15 rounds. Rockman lost a six-rounder on the undercard. Ron Brashear listened to the fight like a lot of people in Louisville on the radio. I was eight years old listening to a radio. We didn't get the live broadcast. They would come on and give a recap after the round. And I'll never forget crying in 1971. They come on and said he was knocked down and Joe Frazier wins. Broke my heart. But Ali would eventually bounce back to beat Joe Frazier and reclaim the championship. Rahman Ali says he always had confidence in his brother, saying he was born for greatness. And between the two, there has always been 18 months and a special bond. I love my brother tremendous. He's just a big sweetheart. I love, he loves everybody. He's a nice man, Gary. He's a nice man, a wonderful man. Rahman Ali was known in Louisville's West End as Rudy Clay when he was growing up. But now he is best known as Muhammad Ali's brother.